Hi Stampers! Today we're making the ice cream to be puffy. Here's one version of it. Here's another version of it. So let's get started. This can also be used as frosting for cupcakes. Not to eat, but for your cards. And it's very hard. It's kind of kind of weird the way it works. So we are using a celebration stamp set called Honeycomb Happiness. And this is only available until end of March. We're using the ice cream cone in it. So I have a an oval and we are using the ice cream cone. We're going to stamp the ice cream cone on the center. And then we're going to color in the um, the uh, cone. My goodness, we're going to color in the cone by just using a little by using an aqua painter and a little bit of ink. And this is soft suede, in case I didn't mention it. Okay. The next step is to make the actual. I'm calling it frosting or ice cream. You'll need a small container or just a little bowl. And we're using equal parts of salt, flour, and water. So to make one of these ice cream cones, you'll just need a these little um, serving spoon or uh, tester spoons work really well. So this is salt, and and you don't want it heaping because otherwise it gets too lumpy. So here's uh, salt, <laughs> um, flour, again you don't want it heaping, flour, and the same amount of water. Now if your water, if it doesn't get thick, en or if it gets too thick, then we're just going to stir this around. I'll tell you in a second here what I'm talking about. If it gets too thick, you can always use a spritzer. See, like there, this is a little thick. So I'm going to get a spritzer, and this just has water in it. I'm just going to give it a spritz because you don't want to overwater it either. Then it gets too watery. This is more cooking than stamping. Okay. Basically, that's what you'll end up with. Then you'll take a drop of reinker, a refill, and this is watermelon wonder. I've also used the mint macaron on these, and the original one that I showed you was blushing bride, and I just colored in a couple of dots with a marker. But I like the way that the watermelon turns out the best. It's a nice bold color. All right, so it's not cooperating today. I guess I need another spritz of water. There we go. So that's really all you need for one of these. If you want to double the recipe, you just do two scoops and it's easy to figure out. Move these out of the way so when I emboss them, it won't be so difficult. Okay, so you just place this on your image and spread it out. You want to go a little bit past the stamped edge because it will shrink a little bit. There we go. And that's all you do. Well, for this part. So you can see that it's sort of thick there. Almost looks like a face. <laughs> okay, I have a piece of aluminum foil on some cardstock that I use to hold my embossing 
image so that I don't burn myself. Let's see. I have a clothespin that I'll use. Okay. So then we're just going to heat it up. Sorry, this is going to get loud. And you heat it from the top. And it takes a while. No, well, not too long, but it takes a bit. And you'll see it just pop up all of a sudden. And then you'll know it's finished. So you can see it's sort of, I hope you can see it turning sort of white here. There, now it's, it's turning much better. It's drying out basically. And then at the end, it'll just give a big puff. And you can see I'm going pretty close to the image, but you want to be careful you don't burn the paper. Okay, now you can see it puffing up, I hope. All of a sudden, you get a big poof, and that's when you stop. Dry. And that's it. See, it's, uh, it's puffy. Now, you don't want it, if you want it to stay puffy like this, you want to not touch it until it's completely cooled down. Um, this one, I was playing with it and I puffed it down and then it got real flat and probably not the look you necessarily want. So after you have this, like this, then you just put your card together. Now you'll need adhesive pretty much on all of this because this will buckle from the water. So I just use the Tombow glue and I'm putting it on this part. It can be a little generous but thin. And then just let it dry on there. Again, if you if you were to touch this now, it's still warm, then it would collapse. So if you want it puffy, and it does get very hard when you're once it does dry. There we go. And then to complete the card, it's a very simple card. I just used a the white thick cardstock, a piece of mint macaron, four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter, and I embossed it with the confetti embossing folder and just took a little piece of the birthday paper with the um, ice cream cones on it, and that's where I got my color palette from. And then this all gets glued together. And you glue this on there again with your Tombow glue. And that's all that it takes for this particular card. Thanks for watching and have a great day.